my forms and the bags and everything and now I'm going to be sitting down and donating. I'm quite excited. My left arm is usually where my vein is the strongest. Okay. Normally I'm quite nervous about needles. Um, they're not my favorite things. But it's, if you close your eyes and you look away, it's not as bad. Some people handle it really well. Um, I do struggle, I have trust issues. So <laughs> it is quite a, a thing for me to do this. But it's good, we are in need, especially during this time of the year. And yeah, so it's for a good, good, good fall. Enough. Put pressure on your wall, right? So you need to talk about your bandages. And see if you have some. Make a nice fist with me. I see a very beautiful vein here. Okay, so this is our cleaning process. We do it three times to maintain total uh, asepsis. Yeah. So that we can prevent any infection. Yeah. So it's a very sterile, very clean method of doing it. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. No, don't you? Take a deep breath. Do you still want to watch? You want to take a look somewhere else? Are you going to put it now? I'm going to put it in now. A bit it needs to be still tight. And you still need to keep that. Okay. You must remember to keep your arms straight like this. Okay. I'm going to put that. Sorry for the little bit. There you go. And it's running very nice. And that was it. That's all. And that was it. <laughs> I sometimes... I now we'll listen to your bit. I sometimes hype this thing up in my head a lot more. Yes, no, please, no, I do the same thing. But that was that. Yeah. We establish our blood flow, so that's why I did it loose a bit. I definitely forget how easy it is. And I think a lot of people are intimidated by it. Yes. 100%. Um, but you just gotta do it. I mean, if you've got some good blood, give it away. Check out my today. I'm gonna take the specimens now from this bag. Of course, it's a closed system, so we don't open up anything, otherwise we can't use the bag. That's why we take it out of the little pouch. There's a ball for you. Now you can squeeze from here every now and again. Eh? I think I'm a bit of a slow bleeder, if I remember. I can see, that's why I'm asking you now to squeeze it, but there's 44 moles per minute again, so... Yeah. You just remember to squeeze, you don't have to go like, ah. Oh. Okay. And just give it. I'm a bit of a slow bleeder. No, you can't stop. Okay. How many moles do I need to fill? You can fill it with 250 moles. Um, it's about 780 or 90 grams. Sometimes it varies a bit. Some yeah. is a bit heavier, some is a bit less. Yeah. Um, but it gives us about 10 grams maybe. How do you So I think I'm about more than halfway done now. Should be almost almost finished. I feel fine. Um, I'm probably going to be a little bit thirsty and hungry um, a little bit later, but it's going very well. I'm very happy I did it, especially now in the time that they are needing blood. You just feel so good about yourself and just helping other people afterwards. So I've been going for eight minutes, but I am an exception because I take really long to bleed. Um, and yeah, it's been going well. I'm on 705 grams at the moment. Let's get a close up of that. So I'm finished. I have donated, I think that's 800, 784 grams. Is it 400 milli? 450 milliliters? 450 milliliters. I'm done. Wasn't so bad. Yeah, so that was very simple, very easy, very friendly service. And now I'm going to get a nice juice and a biscuit and carry on with my day as per usual. But it's been great having everyone follow along this journey with me. So this is my blood. Goodbye. It's quite warm. Yeah. It's quite, quite, yeah, it's quite warm. <laughs> but there it is. It's gone. And at least three to four other people can benefit from it.